Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about the compounds and the mixtures and what are their common differences. So, mixtures. What are mixtures? Mixtures are produced when two or more substances are being physically bonded together and are reversible. And this means that the substance can be easily separated by using different methods. We have two types of mixtures, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Homogeneous mixtures have a uniform composition, and this means that we can't analyze the different particles in those mixtures, and also we cannot realize the boundary in separation between those substances that have been chemically, I'm sorry, physically bonded together within a mixture. And heterogeneous mixtures have an have a non-uniform composition and this means that we can analyze the different particles in those mixtures and we can also see the boundary in separation with our naked eye. Here you can see some examples of homogeneous mixtures, for example alcohol. As you know, alcohol, you cannot analyze the different particles being used in order to produce the alcohol and also in the air. What is, it? what is the air? Can you see um, particles of nitrogen or hydrogen or oxygen in the air? Can you analyze them with your naked eye? No. But if you are going to, unless you are going to use an electron microscope in order to analyze those different particles existing and involving in the mixture. And also, in the mixture of salt and water. As you know, salt is very soluble in the water in that specific solvents in which is called water in the uh, in the universal solvents and as you know when these salts are going to be dissolved in the water those solid uh, those solid particles which are called salts they are going to spread out tooth out the water particles which cannot analyze it with your naked eye so they cannot be determined they cannot be noticed so this is called a homogeneous mixtures, but heterogeneous mixtures, we can easily analyze the different particles occurring and existing in the mixture. And now compounds. Compounds are produced when two or more substances are being chemically bonded together within each other and are nearly irreversible. The substances cannot be separated easily unless another chemical reaction takes place, which is really difficult or let's say nearly impossible. When a compound forms, the properties are going to be really different to those of the component elements. However, in the mixtures, the properties of each element will remain the same, will remain constant. For example, uh, in the mixture of iron and sulfur, when those iron molecules are going to be physically bonded uh, with the sulfur, with the sulfur atoms, as, as you are going to use a magnet in order to separate the iron atoms from those sulfur atoms within those sulfur atoms, they can be easily separated because they are in a mixture. But in a compound, if they were going to be a compound, no more you can um, get that means uh, the possibility of it is really low that the chemical properties of each of individual elements is going to remain the same but in the compounds the chemical properties of each individual elements of each individual components is going to be really different there is a tip here that when a compound forms between two or more substances a single substance forms but in a mixture two or more substances are being physically bonded together, so no new substance. But in compounds, when those two or more substances are going to be chemically bonded together, a single substance forms. And as you know, we have four types of, uh, we have four types of compounds. Ionic compounds, covalent compounds, metallic compounds, and coordinate covalent compounds. Let's talk about a few examples of the compounds. For example, NaCl and also carbon dioxide that we are using it in our everyday life. 
we are using it, we are using it in the process of respiration as the oxygen is entering our body into our lungs by using the pulmonary veins and the pulmonary arteries those carbon dioxide are going to be released from our body and this carbon dioxide is forming a covalent compound a double covalent compound and also in NaCl it forms an ionic compound which you cannot separate them easily for example the, uh, the compound of NaCl sodium chloride you cannot separate the sodium from the chlorine really easy by using different methods unless another chemical reaction or reactions takes place with, which is really difficult or let's say nearly impossible Differences between compounds and mixtures. Mixtures, in mixtures, it contains two or more substances, as I said. But in compounds, a single substance forms. And also in a mixture, the composition can vary. And this means that it's not supposed to be balanced all the times. Because you can use an element as much as you want in that specific mixture. And also in, but Despite, in the compounds, the composition is all the times constant, is all the times the same, and cannot vary, is not going to be different. For example, you cannot add as much as sodium atoms that you want to the compound of NaCl, because everything is going to be changed, every chemical properties is going to be changed, which is existing and involving in that specific compound. And that's why it has to be balanced all the times. In mixtures, the properties are those of the individual elements. As I said before, in the example of the mixture of iron and sulfur, by using a magnet, you could be able to separate the iron atoms from the sulfur atoms really easy. But in the compounds, the properties are very different to those of the component elements. The substances can be easily separated in a mixture by using different kinds of methods. But in compounds, the components can only be separated by one or more chemical reaction. That means, they, uh, let's say it's nearly impossible while we are going to separate the substances that have been chemically bonded together in order to form a compound, unless another chemical reaction or reactions are going to take place in order to separate those two or more than two substances. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share. And if you haven't turned on the bell yet, please do it. And see you in our next video.